Hi everybody. Today we're going to be talking about color lookup tables, or LUTs as they're sometimes called. What they are, what you can do with them, and how you can easily make your own color lookup tables using nothing but your cell phone and the Adobe Capture app. But before we get into it, if this is a topic that interests you and you think you'd like to see more videos like this, I'd really appreciate your support by clicking on the subscribe button below. So what are color lookup tables, or LUTs, L for look, U for up, T for table, as they're sometimes called? They're really just a set of instructions for Photoshop to take each color in your photo and map it to a new color. Well, why would you want to do that? Well, it can be an interesting way to change the mood or look of your photograph, a way to creatively explore what else that particular image could be. So let's go to Photoshop and see how it all works. So here we are in Photoshop, and this is a composite image I had put together. And I'm going to apply a color lookup adjustment layer, which will remap the colors in the photo so as to give it a different look and feel. And I do that by coming down to the adjustment layer icon and then choosing color lookup. And you can see it's added a color lookup adjustment layer. And in the properties tab, I can choose from one of the 3D LUT files. Now, Photoshop comes with a number of pre-installed LUTs, as well as the ability for you to install LUTs that you might purchase or otherwise obtain. Unfortunately, you can't preview what the results will be, so you just have to try them out and see what happens. So let's give it a whirl. See the two strip look? That seems to give it a greenish color. Three strip adds in a lot of purple. Bleach bypass, I can't say I'm a fan of that for this photo. Let's try crisp and warm. I sort of like I sort of like that effect. But here's the thing, you don't really have to accept the, the effect the way it's given to you. You can come down here and change the opacity or the strength at which the effect is applied. You can come over to the blend modes and scroll through some of the blend modes. Although here, I sort of like normal the best. And don't forget that you have a layer mask, so you can paint in or out the effect from portions of the photo where you might want it or might not want it. Cool stuff, but now I'm going to show you how to make your own LUTs for use in Photoshop. It's really easy, and it's fun, and there's no coding needed. You do it using the Adobe Capture phone app, which is available for both iPhone and Android. So let's take a look at how. So this is the folder on my iPhone that has all my Adobe apps, and the arrow points to the Adobe Capture app. So let's go ahead and tap the app and open it up. Well, you can see that I'm pointing it at an oriental rug, but also note that on the bottom, the choice is set to looks, and on the top, the app has chosen a number of colors from the rug and displayed them in various ratios. Now we just click the shutter. So what we see here when we get brought to this page is that at the top, there's a strip of colors that the app is using to make the look. Just below that is a sample photo to which the look has been applied. Below that is an intensity slider that changes the intensity of the applied look. And below that are a series of thumbnails with different versions of the look. And now by scrolling through and tapping on each thumbnail, you could apply any of the versions of the look to the sample photo to see what it would look like. The intensity of the effect can be changed using the intensity slider. Pressing down on the sample image reverts it back to no look applied at all. So by repetitively pressing down and letting up, 
you can see what the photo would have looked like without and with the applied look. Clicking on save then brings you to this page. And on this page, some of the real magic happens because if you click that blue save button, the lookup table that you just created will be saved to your library in the creative cloud. And that can ultimately be used in Photoshop. I'm going to show you how, but first, I want to show you one other cool thing you can do with the app. You can open the app and aim it at a picture, even a picture on your computer screen, like this one that should give us some warm tones. We can scroll through some of the looks and play with varying the intensity by using the intensity slider. When we find something we like, we could save it to our Adobe Creative Cloud for use later in Photoshop. I went through the same process with this image to make a cool tone lookup table for use later as well. But now let's go into Photoshop and see how to use these. So here we are in Photoshop, back with our original image. And so the question is, where do we find those color lookup tables we made? Well, they get synced to your Creative Cloud library. And if that panel's not open, then we just have to come up here to Window, Libraries, and that'll open my library. And right here we have our looks, and we can open that portion. And there we have the three color lookup tables that we made, including the original image that the color lookup table was based on. So how do you apply these looks? Well, it's actually even easier than the application of the color lookup tables that are preloaded in Photoshop. All you need to do is come over to the look and click on it, and it automatically opens a color lookup table with your look applied. See, this is with, without, and with. If you want to change that look to one of the others, all you need to do is click on the other look and it will replace the one that you had there. What if you want to stack them? Well, to stack them, you have to come down here and open up a color lookup adjustment layer, but then instead of applying one of the 3D LUT files, go back to your library and just click on one of the looks, and that will be applied to your photo. That doesn't change things too much, but let's say we wanted to apply that one. So you can see that we've now stacked the looks and made a change with each color lookup table that we've added. So just to see what we might end up liking here, let's go ahead and remove these two layers. And with this image, I like the cool tones that this lookup table gives us. So let's apply that. And remember, we need not go with full opacity if we think that effect is a bit too much. Uh, we can turn it down some. And also, we don't have to go with the normal blend mode. We could scroll through some of the blend modes here. I actually sort of like what the multiply blend mode is doing to the image. Except I don't particularly like the fact that it's darkened the woman's face and dress a bit, but we have a layer mask, so we can come over here and make sure we're on the layer mask. And then with black paint, to hide the effect, we can come over here and sort of paint out some of the effect. I'm just doing this very loosely. And you could do it much more carefully, but you can see we've restored the, or taken the effect away from the subject, but yet left it all on the background. And that is how you can use your cell phone to make color lookup tables that can be very useful for you to use in Photoshop. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. 
And if you did, and if you'd like to see more videos like this, I'd appreciate your clicking the subscribe button below and turning on notifications. I release a new video every Thursday. And if you have any questions or comments or even suggestions and leave them in the comments section below, I'll be sure to respond to you. I'm Howard, and we'll see you next time.